What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I just got done filming an episode of Bald and Bonkers, so. What we're. I just need to do something to relax, kind of relax, you know? I will put what happened behind us, but don't you dare try to attack someone in here again! Go on then, what do you want? Shit's about to get real. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid. 
for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here. And leave the laws to them as needed. Good day, sir. Long, Mr. Ross, we have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Well, listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You killed. I killed. You rob, I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You must land! Noise, Arthur! No noise! Don't you see me coming, Dutch? On, Fuck you! Me, I'm coming.
kill too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! All right, let's head for the hills, boy. Social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch! It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy.
received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, man. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Arthur. First come, first Pearson. served here. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right. Hi, Julie. Hi, Arthur. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. I'm trying to work it out. Okay, then. Okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? Oh. The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. Try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flash is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Are you going to let these bastards walk all over you? No. You're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man. Can you imagine how Dutch would react if he saw this shit going on out of I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. 
Many women, too. The older are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the Army, it was all in those papers Mike found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peter. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. You mind the horses? I need a smoke.
Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't why. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Rageful. Yes. Would you? Sure. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur.
shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. She's wherever you is, Miss Pinkerton's, and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Yeah. Yes, we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <laughs> Did Bill, Bill just die? die? Oops.
Okay, okay let's, let's hold off shooting. shooting. Got him in the head! I think I saw one of my legs pop off. Son of a bitch. Hey, right, come on. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drug play. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Uh, no. That's something that helps. Oh! 
That's wrong, Arthur. Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. I don't think any of them worth trusting right now. Let's see, who was that?
How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta uh, hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. <sighs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Ugh, got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. I think she's wanting a little something so from Arthur. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in that place, crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. 
You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine. Did she drug the rabbit? Novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're going to be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <clears throat> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make <coughs> stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. She said we could, so it's not like we're doing anything bad. She said we could take it, so it's not like we're doing anything bad. Huda. Oh shit.
hell even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be missing needles tomorrow. <laughs> That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's Man anyone else. unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, women don't like him. So he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Mr. Leave the boy alone. For what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. So I can't, can't kill him. him. Fine. Don't do this, please! You gotta keep your mouth shut. It's 
like it didn't happen. I swear. No. If I find out who told me. Stop, Stop shooting, shooting my, my horse! horse. 